Um, and normally, sometimes I would you know, pull somebody from the audience, but I actually have a friend. I, got, I have three friends here today, which is so nice. My touring has turned into total friend holiday meeting up. And so that my friend uh, Natalia from Colombia, who lives in Spain, flew into Italy today. And it's uh, our 15-year an friendship anniversary. So uh, I'm going to ask her if she'll do it. Would you, would you do this? <laughs> Can you drink one? <laughs> She's giving me the... She's like... Sit down. You're Colombian. I don't know. Castello di Arcano. Uh, Merlo non so. Merlot. A Merlot of some sort. Um, then you think you. Uh, Italia. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? See, now, okay, let me see. System working. So, once upon a time, can everybody see? Yes? Oh, well, kind of. Once upon a time, uh, there was this man, he was running out of the rain. He was in Ireland. It's always fucking raining in Ireland. <laughs> and he was running out of the rain and going into a bar. And on his way in the entrance of a bar, he banged into this girl and knocked her onto the floor. And uh, he said, oh, I'm very sorry. And he went to pick her up and she was like one of these proud, hey, I'm fine. You know, oh, sorry, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And she was like, it's fine. And so he was really apologetic. No, really, I'm sorry. I'm really very sorry. And she was like, oh, it's fine, you know. <clears throat> and he said, let me buy you a drink. Please, just let me buy you a drink. Please, just let me buy you a drink. Please, just let me buy you a drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> In Ireland, we like to say sorry a lot. And, you know, so they went into the bar, and uh, they, so he, she agreed, and uh, they had a glass of wine. Mm, look at that. And uh, they drank it. Cheers. I have to drink it fast. Hola. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'm getting um, ahead of myself. They talked and talked and talked. And he discovered that they lived in uh, very close to each other. It was miles from the city center, but it was it was not that far from each other. And they were so surprised they'd never seen each other before. And after one glass of wine, she was more relaxed and more open, and he was more relaxed and not so sorry, you know. So he, he just said, "Would you like another glass of wine?" I said, "Yes." Oh, yeah, sure. So they had another glass of wine. <laughs> I'm going to be an alcoholic after this tour. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. continued talking and talking and talking and they got more comfortable and just got a little bit closer and there was one moment where her knee, her leg, touched his leg and he was like <sighs> it's amazing isn't it at the beginning of a relationship how incredible just that leg touching is like <sighs> and then you know after time we don't appreciate that anymore but whatever um, but anyway at this particular time he was like the leg fire was going on and he ordered another drink and <laughs> pobrecita <laughs> cheers pobrecita <laughs> then 
then the clock was coming he spotted the clock and it was coming close to the time where his last bus was leaving and he didn't have any money at the time and so he didn't have the money for a taxi and so he, he thought oh, fuck I gotta get my last bus because he lived like 15 miles away which is 22 kilometers away or something you know and he didn't want to walk 22 kilometers and so he was looking at the time and then he all of a sudden he realized ah she lives there too <laughs> so if I miss my bus she misses her bus and so he kind of thought would you like another drink and he thought it was a great excuse just to keep the focus on drinking and not focus on uh, on the bus cheers però lei ci dà lei beve bella rapida eh Colombiana, she <clears throat> Anyway. Mm. <laughs> the bar closed and there were no more drinks and he was trying to think of some way of how could he keep her here or keep the conversation going. And he talked to the barman. He said, please, please, please. And he said, no, no, we're closed. Please, 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 please. No, no, no we're closed. <laughs> just one, you know. And so the barman gave, gave just, there was just one drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. He said, hey, I got you a drink. And uh, you can have it. <laughs> you don't have to drink at all yet. <laughs> so they, they sat there, and uh, this, was, this was a time that you could smoke in Ireland. And uh, he was thinking, wow, this is fucking amazing. We've missed our bus, and we're going to spend the evening together. You know, I, I've touched her leg with my leg. <laughs> We've had four glasses of wine and th this is great and then all of us he decided anyway to like announce innocently oh my god look at the time we've missed our bus and she was like oh and he was like cool she's relaxed she, she doesn't have a problem and uh, he said shit what are we going to do and she says, oh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm meeting my boyfriend at midnight, so. <laughs> and so the beautiful energy changed a little bit. And uh, he started to feel completely different, like, that we just changed instantly and it's incredible how the mind would just go and blow you apart and so he uh, didn't really know what to say after that he was he was afraid of talking too much because if he talked too much she would spot she would understand that he had been falling 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 and falling and so he he just pretended he was drunk and uh, I can't really talk anymore. Anyway, I, I'm uh, staying. I'm staying with my friend in in the city tonight as well. Um, my girlfriend is uh, yes. Uh, 